that's the Maharaja, kid. Maybe he like older. Captain Blumbert was just telling me something of the interesting history of the palace, the importance it played in the mutiny. It seems the British never forget the mutiny of 1857. <laughs> yes, well, you know, I think there are other events before the mutiny, going back a century, back to the time of Clive, that are more interesting. And what events are those, Dr. Jones? Well, if memory serves me correctly, this area, this province, was the center of activity for the Thuggy. Ah, oh, sneak, surprise. What's the surprise? Dr. Jones, you know perfectly well that Huggy Cult has been dead for nearly a century. Yes, of course. The Thuggy was an obscenity that worshipped Kali with human sacrifices. The British Army nicely did away with them. Well, I suppose stories of the thuggy die hard. There are no stories anymore. I'm not so sure. We came from a small village. Peasants there told us Panko Palace was growing powerful again because of some ancient evil. Village stories, Dr. Jones. They're just fear and folklore. You're beginning to worry, Captain Blumber. Not worried, Mr. Prime Minister, just, uh, just, um, interested. What? <laughs> uh, you're not eating? I had bugs for lunch. <laughs> Give me your hat. Why? Because I'm going to puke in it. <laughs> you know, the villagers also told us Pankot Palace had taken something. Dr. Jones, in our country, it's not usual for a guest to insult his host. I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about folklore. Excuse me, sir. Uh, do you have anything simple, like soup? What exactly was it they say was stolen? A sacred rock. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Captain? A rock. Something connected. The villagers rock and the old legend of the Shankara stones. Dr. Dodd, you're all vulnerable to vicious rumors. I seem to remember that in Honduras you were accused of being a grave robber rather than an archaeologist. Well, the newspapers greatly exaggerated the incident. And wasn't it the Sultan of Madagascar who threatened to cut your head off if you ever returned to his country? No, it wasn't my head. Then your hands, perhaps. It wasn't my hands, it was my, my misunderstanding. Exactly what we have here, Dr. Jones. I have heard the evil stories of the thuggy cult. I thought the stories were told to frighten children. Later, I learned the thuggy cult was once real and did of unspeakable things. I'm ashamed of what happened here so many years ago. And I assure you, this will never happen again in my kingdom. If I offended you, then I am sorry. Ah, dessert. Chilled monkey brain. Ah. <laughs>